Go on first and foremost. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem, Raka, Kodash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles. A great millstone. Salutation to you, Akim, push this word in sincerity and truth. Your brother, Yasad, back at you with another lesson. Right, and this one here is, you know, is to fear. It's to fear the Lord, you know, because it could end up into some, some, you know, scary judgment right you could end up into some real scary judgment right um well this year is my fear I used this claimer this year is really just for edificational purpose you know and that's it right um a woman dies after being run over by a drunk driver outside a bar in Siparia. Typical woman tattooed down, you know, living it out there, as westernized, you know, the haughty eyelids. Hey, this, this, what, what happens to them? Look at, at how it happened. It's like the Lord, the Lord sent a, a spirit to, 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 to bring forth this judgment upon this woman. Right? And hey, the scripture says, um, the one on that, that perish is that being innocent. Who had perish being innocent? You know? So, surely this, this woman was not innocent soul before the Lord. You know? And that is it, you know, a lot of these women, you would get a look, look how went on. They say, this is a drunk driver. But after running, you will see her, but she look at her. Look at her. Crossed up. And then, park the vehicle on top of her. Right? Right now, we see her alive there, but she didn't cross. She didn't cross right now. God, the way that I can't punch you alone, you can lock off all the air to see body, to see brain, to see lung. You can't do it with a way to punch you. Yeah? And look at it, it's a drunk driver. But we know there is nothing happening by, by coincidence or accident. Because the Lord, the Lord in control of all things. Yeah? I'll play it back. A woman dies after being run over by a drunk driver outside a bar in Siparia. And that's it because because well, this whole system here is set for the prophet and the woman is set to help the woman. It don't mean the Lord has seen all, all what you all are doing. Especially the committing of the adulteries, you know, and 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 as simple as you not keeping yourself in modest apparel, the Lord looks upon all these things and and judges these things, you know. The woman are, at this time here, hey, they, they give off the impression of a harlot tree, right? I we used to go on with harlots, but, but um, like you know, adulterers and these things back then, they would have been they would have been stoned to death, right? The the adulterers, the adulterous woman, right? They would have been you know, stoned to death. All of these tattoos and these things is as against the laws. These things is breaking the laws. All these things here. People think, well, hey, the law is done away with. But it's the very same said law you're going to be judged by. Right? As it says in Romans, right? Ye that have um, sinned, to, sinned without law, you're going to be judged with, without law. You know? Yeah. So, let me get here the book of Micah 7 and 10. Because a lot of these women here is an enemy to Jake. 
the, 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 the white man, the, the rulers of the world, they set up the woman with a, on a high pedestal with they being proud, as it's in Jeremiah, the, the, a new thing on the earth. Well, bring that, the, the, um, the woman is going to come past a man, right? Is Jeremiah 20, 23 or something so? Jeremiah 31, 22. So how will how long will thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For you have a she had created a new thing in the earth, a woman shall come past a man. And the rulers of the earth actually set it to be so. You notice the woman in this society, they say they don't need a man. But yet, everything that they use, the car is men fix it, is men build it. You know, the house, the fancy, all the fancy stuff is, is built by men. But yet, they don't need a man. Because he's so putting all the pants upon these these women, like the vibration. And, and he's setting up the, the singers, you know, to, to get the women that independent vibration or not needing a man. They need a man, they need a manager. You know, get get them a hit and run. You know, just just how a tree being pushed up on the sisters, right? So when judgment like these things happen now, people go to go. She was an innocent woman, and you know, she never used to do nothing. And but in the eyes of the Lord, eh, she was a, a demon. So the Lord rendered judgment upon she, right? As it's seen Micah 7 and 10. Right. And this is the example. Uh, hey, it's the fear of the Lord because you might. She. Hey, that was way un unexpected. You going out to meet him so I want to carry first out on here. Because the way she wasn't in no way into, into the line up behind the man's car. As you literally see in the mirror, the man's hands. It was looking towards she, and that is how we know that hey, is the Lord. The Lord set up that judgment. We'll get into some precepts upon that. Micah seven and ten. Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her. Which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy power? My eyes shall behold her now. Shall she be trodden down as as Maya of the street, as 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 shit? Because what she she she. She get killed right there up on the streets and, and lay down there like, like nothing. Dead. You know? Hmm. And that is it, you know, the because there's a woman, it do means, you know, you, you're safe out here. You know, and that is it, you're seeing the kind of judgment being carried upon these women. Women being chopped up in pieces, you know. Women being raped, you know. Hmm. Wow. It's to fear the Lord. Because if these women were more, you know, um, subjective, being obedient, you know, not out there in the skimpy clothes and and uh, uh, and looking with the wanton eyes and tinkling feet. You know, if it wasn't so, hey, things would have been different. But what, the Lord had to bring hey, his mass judgment upon these women because a lot of... Them old kid as as um Solomon say, he went he could he could find one man being you know a good a righteous man out of a thousand, but out of all the women in the world he never find none righteous. So you see what that tells you there, right? And so hey, given the fact, right, the Lord set for that judgment, um, Isaiah forty seven. And, and this is Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the um, 6 that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none besides me. I am the Lord and there is none else. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. So the Lord was set up that play with the evil act. Uh, 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 that man, you know, as they say, drunk, 
but no ma no man with in the in the right head could be that drunk so i know for sure it was the lord sent an evil angel you know to, to, to send that judgment an uh, angel on the left hand side right to make sure that that person get get a debt right because what's in the psalms uh, let me see i think it's psalm 78 78 Psalm 78 and 49 it says he cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath and indignation and trouble by sending evil angels among them. But let's take a look back again at the video. Look at his hand movement if you can see it. Right, what? Look at it. Look, look behind there, you literally see him turn the steering. Look at it. He literally turn the steering to her direction. And look at the rocky hand moving. Look at the wheel. Watch. Wow. He literally looks straight to go up on him. To run, run back, run her back. Run, run, you know, run over her again. And that is, that is the whole the, the, the Lord, you know. And the, the angels on the left hand side because the scriptures say, um, in Sirach 39 28, it's about uh, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on so strokes in the time of destruction they pour their force and appease the wrath of him that sent them. And you literally see that took place there, you know. <laughs> The spirit was created by the created by the Lord. It was sent by the Lord to, to you know, for that man to to, to make sure that woman is is dead, right? That appeased the wrath, right? The leon saw strokes bring death, fire and hail and famine and death and all these were created. All these were created for vengeance. So that right there, what took place was the was judgment from the Lord, and only the prophets would understand that, you know. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions. So when you see a, a, a pit bull kill a baby and these things, that is judgment of the Lord, you know. A lot would come out and say hey, Satan busy and Satan this, but Satan can't do nothing unless he the order was given from the heavenly Father, right? It says, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. So when you see a man come out and go on by a bar and kill four or five, they literally the Lord put the spirit upon him to punish people by using the gun or these things. Right? It said, they shall rejoice in his commandment and, and shall be ready upon earth when need is and when their time has come. Her time was come. You know, they shall not transgress his word. So, so yeah, they execute it. You know, they execute it. Let's see here. The book of Psalms 103 and 20 it say, Blessed be the Lord, ye his angels. Because again, it have evil well angels on the left hand side doing the evil works you know bringing for judgment all these things and then there's spirits on the right hand side you know as ministers unto the prophets etc right so it says that do his commandments hearkening unto the voice of his words Bless ye the Lord, all ye his host, ye ministers of his, that do his pleasure. Yeah, that do his pleasure. So that was the Lord will for, for, for that woman to be taken. So, right? And more and more judgment is coming upon you wicked woman. You know? That is why, hey, 
this woman has to be a, a good evil woman to get that judgment you know because look for example here in the account with with um Korah and, and and these men Israelites that was going up against Moses you know look what look what to, took place the anger of the Lord right because sometimes it could be the same spirit from way back then that that spit on the Lord that that chose Barabbas instead of the the Lord and these things the Lord haven't forgotten none of you right um let me get the account number 16 because this is just an example you know with with with, with uh, the judgment the lord um send upon these people right because some people they die a, a real painful slow suffering death you know look at the man who, who was burnt alive in the tesla and begging and crying out for help and 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 oh he died nobody could help him the two children that was in capuchin my right idea when the fire came off though there was right in the gallery police you know all these things was right there and uh, they, was, they couldn't even save the children like the lord because the scripture says spirit be cre- created for vengeance fire is one the policeman that made the report, he said it was like a spirit inside it. You know, just trying, just t- making sure that the, these lives be taken out of these kids. You know? Mm, wow. So I'll bring this account in numbers 16 and, and, and verses. Is just to the point because they they was rising up against Moses, you know, separating the people. You know, you find the, the, the you know, like hey, Moses feel he could have taken them out of Egypt to bring us here to be like a ruler over them. And these things, he started to crack down upon Moses, you know, the prophet of the Lord, the shepherd. And look what took place. All right, um, 26, and he speak unto the congregation, saying, Depart, I pray you, from the tents of these wicked men, and touch nothing of theirs, because Moses see where he was bringing uproar amongst the people to to to, to leave off following Moses to to jump across it, you know, because he started telling tell way Moses feel he could rule over we and this and that and thing. So this is where you get when you're going against orders. And that is why you, hey, that is why you see men ending up in position when they go up against the elders and apostles, the shepherds to, to you know guide us. Alright. Let's see. And touch nothing of theirs lest he be consuming all their sins. So they got up from the tabernacle of Korah, Ditan and Abirim. On every side and Datan and Abirim came out and stood in the door of their tents and their wives and their sons and their little children and Moses said hereby ye shall know the Lord hath sent me to do all these works for I have not done them of mine own mind if these men die the common death of all men or if they be visited after the visitation of all men then the Lord hath not sent me so hey, Moses was, was, was you know because hey, he was like Korah, um, the town, one of them, there was like, hey, let me see who the Lord, you know, working with, let me see you, thing, you know, the start to cast a lot upon it, you know, um, but hey, Moses come out and make his claws here, right, this is how you know that the Lord sent me, if the, when this happens, right, it say, but if the Lord make a new thing, and the earth open her mouth and swallow them up with all that, that appertain it unto them, and they go down quick into the pit, then ye shall know that these men have provoked the Lord. So, hey, listen carefully, wait, see. When these things happen to them, you know that these men provoke the Lord. And, it, and hey, provoking the prophets is provoking the Lord as well. Right? And it came to pass as he had made the ending of, of, his, of all his words, 
end of speaking all all these words that the ground cleave asunder that under them that was under them and the earth opened their mouth and swallowed them up and their houses and all the men that appertained unto Korah and all their goods they and all that appertained unto them went down alive into the pit and the earth closed upon them and they perished from from among the people among the congregation yeah like they were being buried alive and being crushed for the dirt and all israel that were round about them fled at the cry of them for they said lest the earth swallow us up also yes we we had a fear of washing and shy because you don't know what position you could end up in right mm-hmm. And when we had to work out with salvation with fear and trembling. I'll end up for this year, Hebrews 10 and 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. So now we had to be careful in what all we were we doing. Because in this time, a real judgment, mass judgment is being carried out. Hopefully, this was very fine. The blessed elders and apostles are great millstone. Salute to you. I can push this word in sincerity and truth until the next one, Shalom.